Hello, lovely kindergartners. It is Mrs. Shivani from the Syracuse Academy of Science and Citizenship. Today, we are going to work on our math stairs again, but this time we're gonna take our stairs apart and put them into circles and kind of deconstruct them a little bit, but we're still gonna be working on counting the math way. So we'll warm up with our quick fluency game. We will um, get into our application problem about oranges. We will do our concept development. We'll do our exit ticket. We'll talk about what we learned. All right, let's get into it for the day. Module one, lesson 31, four math lessons left in this module. We are getting so close to the end. You're working so, so hard. So today's goal, I can arrange, analyze, that's a fancy word for just kind of like look at and think about and draw one more up to 10. Okay, let's start off with our game first though. We're gonna play show me one more. So we play this, played this the other day too. Remember, we pop a balloon and there are three. Show me the math way by starting at your pinky. And I'll say show me one more, four. I have three, one more is four. Okay, ready? One, one more is two, four, one more is Five, I hope you're doing it with me. And two, one more is three. <laughs> I kind of added three there. <laughs> Let's do that one again. I have two, one more is three. There we go, good work. Okay, now let's get into our application problem. Caleb had a plate of seven oranges. Oh, I like oranges, they're so juicy. Sometimes oranges are a little bitter, sometimes they're really sweet. Kind of depends on what season you're in, right? Okay, so we have seven oranges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, let's double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Always good to double check your work in math, right? Put one more orange out in case someone is a little extra hungry. That's really nice, right? Because we have plenty down here. So let's put one more in case Caleb wants to eat some more. So we had seven. One more is, blurt, eight. Make an S, but do not wait. Go back to the top. That's an eight. Make an S. Do not wait. Go back to the top. That's a kind of deflated eight. <laughs> Make an S. Do not wait. Go back to the top. That's an eight. Good one. Seven. One more is eight. Okay, let's look at these stairs again. Remember we made these last time and we talked about how we made two sets of one through five and we made this set of one through five taller by giving it a five group, by giving each set a five group down here in blue. So we have five and one, five and two, five and three, five and four, five and five to finally get us to 10. And we'll have all the way from one to 10, but let's count just to make sure that these masters are correct. And we're gonna count the one more math way. One, one more is two. Two, one more is three, count with me. Three, one more is four. Four, one more is five. Five, one more is six. Six, one more is seven. Seven, one more is eight. Eight, one more is nine. Nine, one more is 10. Good, so we do have 10. So now let's take apart this big tower. We're gonna to take it apart. We're gonna put it into these bracelets. We'll take off one stair and, and we'll put it inside a circle. Then we'll put them in order from one through 10. So let me speed this up for you and show you what it looks like when it's done. Here you go. So let's count the cubes in our circles and let's count the one more way. So remember, we just took apart this tower and put them inside a circle. They're kind of coming out of the circle because they're tall. They're taller than the circle. So let's count the cubes in our circles now, the one more way. Okay, ready? One, one more is two. Two, one more is three. Three, one more is four. Four, one more is five. Five, 
one more is six. Six, one more is seven. Seven, one more is eight. Eight, one more is nine. Nine, one more is 10. Yeah, we don't have to count every single cube because we know that we took apart this and we already counted this and we were sure this was right. So we don't have to count every single cube. We just broke apart the towers and we made a bracelet or we made, we put them in our circle. We broke apart the tower and we placed them inside our circle. But now I want to break apart these columns even more and let's put them around the outside of our circle just like this. So I just sped this up for you. We took apart one and we just are going to move it like that. We'll take apart two and move it like this to our bracelets. Take apart three and move it like this to our bracelets. Well, let me speed it up for you and show you what it's like when it's finished. There we go. So look at our bracelets. What do you notice? We made sure that the blue cubes are together and the red cubes are together. I notice about their colors, we have one through five that are all red. I notice that. Then down here, just like in our towers over here, we have five blue and one more red to make six. I notice we have more blue than red, more blue than red, more blue than red, but now here at 10, we have five and five. That makes 10. What do you notice? Anything different that I didn't notice? Send me a message if I missed something and you noticed something interesting. Now let's label each one. Labeling means to match a set with a number. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that's a silly six, isn't it? Six, seven, eight, nine, and then remember 10 has two digits, 10. There we go. All right, let me show you our problem set for the day. You are going to work on counting. So draw one more star or just think how many would one more be and choose how many there are now. So you'll have to count these first, then think how many would one more be, choose, count the squares, how many would one more square be total? Count the clouds, how many would one more cloud be total? Same thing with the faces. All right, I thought that was a fun math lesson today. I can't wait to see how you guys do on your exit ticket. I'm sure you're gonna do a wonderful job because you are such mathematicians. We're going to be continuing this next time and we will um, start wrapping up this module because we are almost done. We worked so, so hard and we're almost done with module number one of kindergarten crazy. All right, guys, great job counting with me the one more way. We, we counted, we took apart our towers, we took apart our columns and we labeled how many were in each little bracelet that we took apart. Good work. We ordered one through 10. Well, we did a lot of things today. All right, guys. Adios. See you next time.